Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. So today we are creating a very luxurious looking single story home in Del Sol Valley because I feel like we've been building quite a lot of these like huge homes recently which are like three floors, four floors and stuff like that. So I feel like we could just like go down a little bit and create something a bit more like simple although it's not really that simple uh, because I kind of built it in Del Sol Valley on the 64 by 64 lot so it's like huge and like extravagant looking as you guys can see like from the floor plan already like the way the build is like processed so far like we can see like a very huge floor plan that i'm creating right now which was honestly like very difficult to work with because i was kind of like focusing on creating a very interesting exterior which kind of like made me struggle quite a lot when it came to like doing the interior because there was no stairs or anything like that so i had to utilize a lot of this space to be like very livable if that makes sense and i kind of went with like this single story um idea because i wanted something more interesting you know uh and i wanted to build something that looked a bit more interesting in comparison to like a typical single story home which has like very basic features and it doesn't really look that interesting especially like from like a bird's eye view and obviously because we're in the sims we look at the builds in like a very different way so yeah it was kind of just like a balance between creating something that looked interesting while also keeping it very luxurious while also being like a single story home so i just incorporated a bunch of different like build functionalities into this build such as utilizing a bunch of different roofing styles so we have like a bunch of different flat roofs as well as like a lot of peaked roofs as well as like those modern slanted roofs throughout like each side of the home which i feel like adds to the dynamicness of this build in general and honestly when i was building this i was actually kind of inspired by my kim kardashian house that i built recently because i really love the way her house is and although her house is not a single story home like the front part of her home is kind of like two stories but i didn't do that because it was just there was no point in incorporating two floors on kim kardashian's home when you know it's not really like viable or like copyable in the sim so i just stayed with like a nice simple floor plan for her build which is kind of like what i'm doing here as well and i was inspired by that build because i really liked the way it looked like the simplicity it looked so extravagant and huge but it was literally just a single story home so i wanted to replicate that in like my own style and create like a unique build that like kind of like was inspired from her house if that makes sense and we're kind of going with a interesting color scheme here uh, for the exterior which is kind of like this like bright peachy looking color which had a very nice texture on it and it's also incorporating a bunch of like white walls as well throughout the entire home so like the main body of the home is kind of like an l shape which has like the main color of it which is the white color and then we have like these poking out buildings or these parts of the building that are like this like nice peachy color and i really like the way it looked because i never really use um unique coloring for my exterior wall so it was kind of like fun to like mess about and like try new wallpapers and stuff like that and right now you guys can see like we already created the pretty much all of the exterior as well as like the roofing and stuff like that however i do obviously like end up changing some parts here and there as we progress throughout the build but so far like the way it looked i was so happy to like continue building this build because like i just really like the way it looked it was just like very aesthetically pleasing to view the exterior as it is right now and right now i don't know if you guys would love or hate that roofing right now but it's, it's kind of going to get changed because i don't know there, there's just something about this roofing that i really liked in the beginning but then as i was continuing to build and stuff like that it was just looking a bit too metally if that makes sense like i don't know i just didn't really want a roof that like stood out in the eye a bit too much the roofing was just a bit too much for me so i kind of ended up changing it to like a bit more of like a simple roofing texture as you guys will see like as we progress with the build but um, with this build i also incorporated a lot of um, platforming here and there and also a lot of like foundation usage when it came to like the swimming pool which i believe we're going on to right now and you guys will see like how that actually like transforms into be being like this huge garden um which honestly just like looks so nice and dreamy i don't know there's something about this garden that looks so nice and extravagant it looks very like over the top but at the same time it's very like sophisticated and like it looks very like well kept which is i feel like something that you would expect from like a very luxurious home um like this and we also incorporated like a lot of um outdoor like seating and stuff like that just to, like make it a bit more like livable so that there was more like this connection between an indoor and outdoor feel there's also like this like nice sitting out area that i placed like adjacent to the swimming pool which i really liked the way it looked i don't know it, it was just like a 
unique thing to create in this garden and i felt like we we did have like a lot of empty spaces like here and there so i was just like why not just incorporate it with usable objects you know so um yeah as like expected with like a huge home like this we do obviously have a lot of like outdoor seating and stuff like that and like very nice sophisticated gardens and stuff and the main focal point of this home is kind of like the garden and like the backyard because that's like the main parts that i like really like focus on because i, I don't know i just like the way they look in the end you know and obviously like as building is like a process you don't know how it's going to look until you actually like finish the build and then you can like justify like whether you like it or not um but yeah as you guys can see like so far we already created most of the windows and stuff like that so we're going with like this like very nice simple modern theme that doesn't have like a lot of like detailing and textures on the windows which i'm completely fine i really like the way that looks in general to be honest and this is kind of like focusing on like these modern um single story home so like yeah we're just like trying to like incorporate that very simple style in this build which i feel like i was able to execute pretty well because like that's kind of like the style that i like focusing on anyway and as you guys can see like we already placed every single window in this build pretty much and i really like the way it looked i also use the sky i don't know what they're called but like they're like those floor window thingies that came with um island living which i really like using on the ceilings of my builds because it's kind of just like a skylight and i use that throughout the entire build where there was like a lot of like public space so like where there were, where the main home lobby was and stuff like that or like the living room or the kitchen and stuff like that which i feel like was really nice and as I was mentioning, like there's a big emphasis on like indoor outdoor living in this build. So you would see a lot of furniture go from the inside of the build as well as on the outside of the build because I just wanted it to look very nice and like livable and also like very realistic as well. And this is like one of the parts of the garden that is like very sophisticated. As you guys can see, I went with like a very nice detail for the garden. So it's like very sophisticated and very specific. It's not like all a bit like random or too busy. Everything is kind of like placed on purpose as if you like kind of like got the garden designed specifically to like your needs if that makes sense so yeah that was kind of like the main purpose that i was trying to like go for with this garden and i feel like i was able to execute that pretty well i tried to make a nice like I don't know what this is called like a nice like planter area i, I don't want to have like a greenhouse because i feel like we already have too many like buildings and stuff in this build but i just wanted something like that was nice to like you know be like interactive and functional as well as like look a bit more interesting because like i could have put like a basketball court here or something like that but I, I just felt like maybe this was like a gardener's home so like i incorporated a lot of like these like plants and stuff like that which is the main reason why there's like a lot of specifically arranged plants and like how they look very neat and stuff. but yeah right now we're just moving on to the actual like front of the home where we actually create like this unique design for the entrance of the home so we have this bit that like kind of like pokes out from the main building and it's kind of just like a coverage where it, but it's not like a full room if that makes sense i actually done that in my previous palace build as well which i feel like was really nice and fun to incorporate as it's something unique so i felt like why not just incorporate it here as well rather than having like a flat wall piece with like a main front door if that makes sense and i also covered this build with like a lot of terrain and stuff like that and i also used a flooring called the basement flooring i believe I, and i think it's base game but i use that instead of using the terrain dirt which i feel like looks a lot more better it looks a bit more like lively it's a bit more darker than the terrain and it really makes the plants stand out which is the reason which is like the main reason why i use it and i also use the pebble flooring throughout the entire build as well primarily the front area of this home because i really i just really like the way it looks and honestly ever since i used it in the spanish home i've been using it in like most of my builds because i just feel like it's a really nice way of decorating the bottom of like planters and stuff like that if that makes sense and honestly like it was kind of like a lifesaver that i used these the basement flooring instead of like the dirt terrain because all of my terrain ended up disappearing once i loaded back in to continue with the build which is kind of annoying because i i feel like this issue has been in the game for like a very long time now and it hasn't been fixed and it's very annoying because you spend so much time creating the terrain and then it just ends up getting deleted so then you have to go back in and do everything all over again so i feel like when i use these like floors instead of the actual terrain it just makes it so much better i mean don't get me wrong i did use terrain but i did obviously use a lot of the flooring as well because i just didn't want all of my work to go to waste if that makes sense and i kind of skipped the floor plan like the interior floor plan design because it was taking a very long time as i mentioned in the beginning of the video like it took such a long time to create the floor plan of this to to actually like, make sense because like the home is like so big and it, it just had like a lot of like extra bits that like stuck out of the actual like main home so you really had to like think and it actually like make sure that everything made sense and you guys would see that throughout the entire build 
as I'm building the interior, um, how it actually like works and like how the floor plan actually looks. And I also provided floor plan details in the end of the videos or in terms of like screenshots so you guys can see like the floor plan layout and stuff like that and like where every single room is and how it's furnished etc um but yeah um right now we're just doing the main master bedroom interior so as i mentioned like before like we're creating like this very simple sophisticated interior design as well as like on the exterior we also implemented that in the interior so everything is like very nice and luxurious looking but it's also sticking to like a very simple theme and the same thing with like in my king kardashian house i actually had this like very huge like master bedroom and there was like this really big room that led towards the master bedroom so i was like what the hell can i create with this so i was like you know what they're gonna have like their own specific like room before they go into their bedroom that is like a little like sitting area which i thought was like very luxurious and over the top and i feel like it kind of made sense for like a huge home like this I feel like it was kind of like a cool thing as well and they also have their own ensuite as well as like their own walk-in wardrobe initially in the first few seconds of me creating the interior you guys saw me create the wardrobe area but as you guys can see like right now i'm actually like changing it in its own specific room because it took me such a long time to create the floor plan that i actually forgot that this master bedroom actually had its own walk-in wardrobe as i remembered i went back and created the walk-in wardrobe as it was meant to be in its like its own specific room and instead i went back and like changed and added some more details into the bedroom where the wardrobe originally was just so it doesn't look like bland and boring and i also left in the speed build for the bathroom because i i don't know i i like leaving in the bathroom speed build for certain rooms if that makes sense so Obviously, because this is an ensuite of the master bedroom, I wanted to show everything from the master bedroom's like speed build because I wanted you guys to see what the main bedroom's bathroom really looks like because this is kind of like the same style that I replicate throughout the entire build in terms of like the bathrooms and stuff. And we also have another nursery. I've been building quite a lot of nurseries recently in all of my builds, to be honest. And I just felt like it was just like a nice way to incorporate a unique looking room into this build as well. So, and I felt like it was also really realistic because like I build a lot of these homes specifically for like families. So it kind of just like obviously makes sense to incorporate a lot of like child friendly builds and stuff like that and rooms. We just went for like a very nice, simple, sophisticated, modern looking nursery. So it's nothing really that special. I use pretty much like all of my like favorite items when it comes to like the nursery and stuff so like yeah nothing really too special going on with that but yeah moving on to the actual kitchen area i wanted to create this like very light open looking kitchen so since we have like a lot of like white in the build i also wanted the counters to be like very white and like clear looking because i feel like that's what makes the build very simple and stuff and you guys kind of like saw a few seconds ago i was actually creating a double island for this kitchen which was insane it was honestly like very huge which is the reason why i just like I had to get rid of it because I was just like, there's no way it was going to look good, you know, like there was just too much counter space that I just didn't really want in this build. So I got rid of the double island counters and instead just kept it with one, which was like very simple. And the main reason why I actually wanted to do two initially was because the dining area has its own sophisticated room. So I couldn't really place one like behind the main like island counter which is a bummer but i believe i honestly just like leave it empty but obviously you guys can go back in and create um an additional like dining area there if you guys wanted to and because this build was so big it also has its like own like butler's pantry sort of situation so it's kind of just like a butler's kitchen but it also incorporates a pantry that you guys can like utilize and fill that room with and this is the dining area that has like its own specific like room and initially i didn't know if i really liked the way that looked like i I kept it very simple and basic which um does not remain like that at all because i actually do go back and change that towards the end of the build because i just wasn't liking the way it looked like i just didn't like the way the colors looked. it was clashing a lot i didn't like the main um table that i used so actually i do end up going back to that room and i actually change it completely so make sure to stay tuned towards the end of the video where i actually like do go back and change those builds because Honestly, it does make quite a lot of difference when I go back and change some of these rooms and stuff just to make it a bit more interesting. And we kind of like sped past through that living room, but it's honestly just like one of my like typical bed living rooms that I do with like the spa day slab as like the main coffee table and using like the module sofa pieces to create a very nice, luxurious, modern looking, simple um, couch which i honestly really do like the way it looks i feel like i've overused that style quite a lot but i honestly just like 
the way it looks. So I'm just gonna like continue using it in times when like I feel like it's necessary. And because obviously we're building like a very modern luxurious home, I felt like it was kind of like necessary to build that in this speed build. We also have like a very nice simple office area, which has like a very nice like blue theme. I don't know why, but recently in most of my builds, I've been doing this like color scheme thingy where like I incorporate like a bunch of different like color in specific rooms so each room has its like own color and in most of these builds I've been creating a lot of these like light blue colors which I really do like and I just feel like there's a lot of these blue swatches in the game so I feel like it makes sense to like you know strive towards creating more blue rooms in this build or even in the sims in general because there's just like a lot of blue swatches that i really do like and we also have a nice like laundry area which has its own shower which i let me know if you guys think this is a bit weird but this is the first time that i've heard that there was like showers in like laundry rooms so i've actually seen these like in real life as well as like in listings where there's like a shower within the laundry room which i feel like doesn't really make sense but I don't know you guys can let me know what you think about that but um this is one of the bedrooms i was actually going to say this is one of the bedrooms on the first floor but there's only one floor in this build so <laughs> yeah this is just one of the many bedrooms on in this build i believe we have about like five or six bedrooms in this build including like the extra rooms that you guys can actually turn into bedrooms so probably about like seven or eight bedrooms in this house in total and honestly most of them have a lot of space they're very spacious of it, honestly like mainly due to like having so much space in each of these rooms like they they're very spacious and they incorporate like a bunch of different um, functionalities within the build which i obviously like try to do and as you guys saw from the exterior of the build like we have a lot of fireplaces as well throughout this entire build and i don't i don't know i just really like the way um fireplaces look and like how they fill up the space and how you can like work around a fireplace by like adding like a nice like living area and obviously because of most of these bedrooms are like huge i was able to incorporate like a nice like small living area with within these bedrooms and this is also another one of the bathrooms that i actually show mainly because it has like a unique color scheme so this is actually a color scheme that i really like doing it when it comes to creating bathrooms so like creating like a very nice like wall panel texture that is like wooden while also keeping it like very like stone and tiley as well so yeah i really like incorporating that and i felt like it also matched really well with the bedroom as well so this is the bedroom that actually matches with the ensuite that had like the wooden paneling so we also have the same wooden paneling within the bedroom and i just feel like that's a very nice like way of designating specific spaces to each other so yeah i felt like it was very cool to create uh, bedrooms and bathrooms that like kind of like match and went really cohesive together and i feel like that's kind of just like something new that i've been doing recently we also have a very nice gym in this build where i tried to utilize a few unique objects within this build obviously like it did end up like being a bit simple as every single gym really is in the sims because there's not really much that you can like really place besides the typical mirrors and like the three or four equipments that we get as well as like a few like meditation objects that we really have and i believe this is one of the last few bedrooms that we are furnishing in this build so instead of going for like a very like light theme that we have throughout the entire build this one's actually more of like a dark theme and incorporates like a bunch of like natural wood materials here and there such as like the paneling and stuff as well as on the bedside tables and stuff like that which was kind of like a tight fit with the fireplace but i feel like it does add to like the coziness of the room overall and i also use the lux chairs obviously on the sides to create like a nice seating area which is honestly one of my favorite chairs in the sims 4 and i wanted to incorporate a nice contrast in this room by utilizing the eco lifestyle wallpaper the concrete wallpaper which i feel like looks really nice especially when you layer the wooden paneling on top of like the black concrete it looks really nice and really matches with like the overall color screen that i was going for in the build and this is one of the final bedrooms in the build that kind of just like focuses on a more like lighter color scheme in comparison to the previous bedroom which was a lot more darker so we incorporate a lot more like lighter features in this build and obviously using those luxe seats that i've been going on about this entire build it wasn't a fireplace here but i do included one because i just felt like it was a bit nice you know to include something unique into this build as well since most of the builds have it i was like might as well just incorporate it in this and i also added some like custom clutter pieces onto this desk just to make it look a bit more interesting and here i am just going back to that dining area that i was not happy with in the beginning of the build because i just wanted to incorporate and make it different as you guys can see right now i changed the actual like dining table and the area and like the furniture around it because i just wasn't really happy with it to be honest and i really like the way it looks now 
especially with like the blue concrete wallpaper i just feel like it ties the room in a lot more and there was this like huge main like hall lobby area sort of situation when you go down the left wing of the build so i just wanted to incorporate like a nice like piano area and like a nice seating area as well as some like storage in the hallways here and there but yeah i'm just going around the house adding some extra details and stuff like that such as the curtains and a bit more details into the rooms here and it seems that we have came towards the end of the video thank you very much for watching i hope you guys like this build let me know what you think in the comments below i do also have a bunch more other videos on the channel that you guys can check out if you guys want more build but yeah let me know what you think of the video by leaving a like and subscribing and i'll see you guys in my next video